what's going on guys so pretty exciting stuff but this is episode one of top five tuesday a segment that i've decided to come up with where i give my reviews opinions thoughts on a gym category certain uh, topics and i give you my opinion on them i tell a little story about each item um try to get some pictures up in the video too and you guys, if you agree, disagree, whatever, comment down below. And yeah, this is going to be a little segment I do on Tuesdays. I, uh, I just thought it'd be a cool way to share some of my experience, but also um, get some knowledge out there that I have just so you guys don't have to go through some of the trouble I, I've been through. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I guess starting off, um, had a couple of honorable mentions, I think... Right off the bat, the one, like, when I think of a leg press, you can't go wrong with that hammer strength leg press. It's good, but we're going to talk about leg presses that are great today. So, I don't necessarily think that that one should be on there. I may be skewed. The one that I used in college was definitely just not properly adjusted, and the right side was way heavier. So, I tended to drift away from using the hammer strength leg press. Um at my old gym, but now I have the opportunity to use one that's pretty decent now. So, you know, again, it does depend on the piece. And like I said, this is my own experience. I'm going to try to get video up there of me using it too. So, uh, just kind of show. But yeah, so number five, I put this at the fifth spot just because we can argue whether or not this is a leg specialty piece. I think since it's still technically a leg press motion that we can include it. Um, but it is the single leg leg press. And I believe it was Nebula. I'll, you'll have to forgive me. I'll include the video. Um, but I got to use this when I went out to Quad's gym in Chicago. And yeah, I'll definitely do a video about that later. That was one of the coolest spots I've ever trained at. But this piece was butter. And honestly, if we were not having to factor in the fact that it was single leg, I think if you could somehow come up with a plate that could move in the motion that the individual did, this could definitely jump a few spots, but I think for now we'll put, keep it in that fifth spot. It was awesome. Felt like for my purpose, when I'm doing leg press, usually it's for quads. And funny enough, the gym is also called quads. Of course, you know, I had to turn quads when we went there. But uh, no, uh, on a more serious note, when you're using that leg press, it's like, it almost feels like a leg extension, the little level of quad recruitment you're getting. And so, yeah, it's, it's a really good piece. So that is going to be our fifth spot. Coming in at number four, it's going to be the hammer strength linear leg press. And I believe I could have that wrong. It could be the uh, horizontal one, but I will throw the video up to make sure I've got the names down by the time this is up. Um, but that leg press, again, in terms of quad uh, biasing, I guess you would call it, Kind of like on my request in the last, <laughs> when I was talking about the single leg leg press, if they were able to make a plate, they did that with this fourth spot on the on the hammer strength uh, quad bias piece. So anyways, yeah, this one was a little bit rough to get into. You kind of have to adjust the seat so that you can get down, but also make sure your legs can fit while bent, starting from the bent position. But if you can get it set up in the right way for you, oh. It is perfect. It's right on the dot. Money. Like, it is. It, it's really good. Um, some of the best quad recruitment I've ever felt in, in a piece. And, yeah. So, that is what it's going to give it. The number four spot. Um, cool. Okay. So, coming up next, number three. I debated putting this one higher. And, honestly, if you moved any of these top five, I don't think I would debate you on this. And, um, again, like I said, I'm, I'm interested to hear there's definitely some arguments that, um, some that I left off and I, I won't give it away yet, but we can have that discussion later. But anyway, so the third is, um, the Nebula like press. And so Nebula is not a super popular brand, um, anymore per se, but back in the day they made some really good stuff. And so me and a couple of my good buddies in college trained out of a gym called Frankie's if you're ever in the East Tennessee area near Knoxville, highly recommend it. Um, and it had a Nebula leg press. And we would load that thing up. It was definitely one that you could inflate the ego a little bit, get a lot of plates on there. Um, but that being said, it was also just as challenging. It was one where you fully customizable. You could um, configure it to be single leg, but we typically did it in 
in bilateral fashion. And so you can customize whether the plate setting, the height of the stopper, the height of the seat, the adjustment of the angle of the seat. Um, it was just, yeah, truly customizable piece. And for that, we'll give it the third spot. Now, in this second spot, I think you guys might think I'm sponsored. Promise I'm not. But the top two are actually from the same company. Um, but they're a little bit different. And so I think you could call it personal preference. So I almost want to group them together. But I think to be fair, we'll, we'll keep them apart for now. But uh, number two is the Cybex Squat Press or Pivot Press. Um, and this is the one I've used this piece a couple times, but the one that I'm specifically referring to, I don't even know if they still have it anymore, is uh, the one that was over at Carbon when it was uh, being converted from FAC into Carbon that it is today. So I trained on that leg press for uh, summer of 2022, I believe, and it was awesome. Now I'm a bit biased around that time. Um, Fuad, Abiyad, and Hostile Crew came into town and him and Brandon Curry got a leg workout where they used that piece. And so, you know, of course I was like, well, I gotta include that in my training. If the pros are doing it, that's what I gotta do too, right? Um, but no, I have been using the piece before, definitely throwing a band on it and stuff. But again, it's one of those that almost kind of articulates backwards. It's almost like it's falling in on you on, on kind of the pivot back up, pivot back up um, path. And it's just, again, I feel like I'm just saying it gets better and better with the quad biasing, but it really truly is. Um, just because of the angle that it's at, I love doing my feet low on the platform. And again, I brought up those guys. I've even seen them take their feet where they have only the platform hitting like midfoot um, and they're just feeling quad all the way through. So that is the number two spot for the Cybex squat press. And last but not least, the number one spot for today is the Cybex linear leg press. Now, this might be controversial. It is arguably the plainest looking, most simple leg press of all that you've probably seen on the, on the screen. And you're right, it is definitely the one without the most bells and whistles. I don't even know if you can customize the where the stop is at, or um, I know you can adjust the seat, like the angle of the seat in the back, but this leg press is the hardest leg press I have ever used in my entire life. And for that reason alone, I think it's gotta take the cake. But when I tell you guys, if you've never gotten on a Cybex, Cybex linear leg press, please, Take whatever weight you think you would normally do, throw it on there, try to do the same amount of reps, and you will be humble quickly. It is uh, a retro humbler, I'll just say that. It's definitely one that I've enjoyed from, you know, the vintage aspect of Dorian Yates and, and Leroy. Come on, Yates, got another. Uh, with Back in the day when they were training on um, Cybex like press, but no, again, I'm, I'm kind of rambling at this point, but... The Cybex on your leg press is the best leg press I've ever used. It is the hardest leg press I've ever used. And yeah, highly recommend if you guys have an opportunity to use one, go try it, test it out. Um, but yeah, that is the top five Tuesday list for leg presses. Um, I'd love to get, know your guys' comments. If you want to um, throw them down below, we can have a little discussion about if any of the placings you agree with, disagree, would love to that but yeah this has been uh top five tuesday episode one leg presses we'll see you guys next time